All right, y'all, we have a no cooling call. I see a Nordine condenser right over there. Yep, that's our unit. Customer says it's making a loud noise. So let's go uh, greet the customer and see what it's doing. All right, guys. Very nice elderly people. Wonderful, wonderful people. I love doing work for people like this. The noise she was hearing was just the cage rattling uh, on that cheap Nordine unit. The cage was just rattling like crazy. And uh, I got that. And when I stopped it, she was like, yeah, that's it. That's the noise. And I said, yeah, that's just the cage. I explained to her that it was a cheap unit and that that happens. And, uh, but it's not cooling very well. So we're going to, uh, gonna grab some gauges here. And, uh, yeah, how you like that filter I pulled out yesterday on another service call? Put that right here. 20 inch elbow for a upcoming job. I'm gonna take a crescent wrench and a pair of strippers just in case. And take our S mans here. Let's see if I can close this up with one hand. There we go. All right. Take a walk over here. It's an R22 dry shipped unit. The indoor system is an American standard gas furnace with an American standard cased coil. I guess the condenser went bad. So they dropped this uh, Gibson Nordine R22. there when you saw those tags that's a dry ship unit because if you look at the factory well no it does have a factory charge but I'm not sure how to tell the year she said five years ago so this was definitely a dry ship unit that dryer looks like it's leaking freon to me big time so uh let's get the gauges put on it all right, I haven't even put the pipe clamps on yet, but you can see we're definitely low on the refrigerant. Uh, so we've got a good leak somewhere. That dryer looks like a really good uh, indicator of a leak. So before we go throwing R22 in here and all kind of stuff, we are going to, uh, we're gonna hunt this leak down. It could be on that indoor coil. It's an older American Standard system. I'd say the American Standard indoor system is probably 15 years old. So that it, 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 yeah, because it's it's actually a piston type American train American Standard coil, and train and American Standard haven't used pistons on their coils in about 15 years. So we uh, we may do an upgrade on this. We. Uh, at least the indoor equipment, I'll try to talk them into the outdoor since it is such a cheap product. It could be the micro channel leaking on this thing. Um, yeah, see we have extremely high superheat. So uh, even though that suction line is pretty cool, but yeah, we definitely low on charge here.
All right, guys, we have a major, major helicopter. I mean, they're right on top of me. But that dryer is leaking, as you saw in the previous video. I'm going to take the top off and make sure this micro channel condenser coil is not leaking also to make sure they don't need a whole new condensing unit. The American Standard stuff in the closet is in fantastic shape. Um, but they may, and it's made for 410A slash R22. It would just need a piston change. But we know the dryer is leaking no doubt but i want to make sure this micro channel is not leaking too before i just replace a dryer and leave a leaking condenser coil so i'm gonna grab my drill and we're gonna do that all right guys well i wasn't able to film the leak search but down here in the bottom corner it's actually more over here from the from the inside of the unit the leak detector was going crazy from about here all the way up to here just a big old oil stain and a huge leak and then this is where the leak detector was going off on the dryer i think it was going off under this paint you can just see the condition that this dryer is in so we are you can tell by the way i've got the copper cut loose my uh my other guy that works with me my, i do have a full-time technician well he's the same guy that's been with me for a year i've tried i've been training him he is uh picking up a new condenser and he's headed this way and uh we're going with a comfort maker condenser because this pad is only 32 by 32 on a three ton ream you can get away with a 36 by 36 pad but it's it's very snug but being that this is a 32 by 32 pad, a ream would overlap this con well, this concrete slab. You could see how you could see how nice and thick her pad is, and the ream would hang off on both sides. That's the only bad thing about the new reams is they're so wide. So uh, he had a I uh, my supplier had a I, uh, ICP comfort maker in stock, so the comfort maker will fit on here. So that's what we're gonna go with. I've already got everything disconnected and. Uh, we're just waiting on my guy to get here with the new unit. All right, guys, I'm sorry I didn't get more video, but this is the final product. The Gibson is gone and the Comfort Maker has taken over. We put new insulation on the line set all the way down to the unit. It looks good and it's cooling well. Again, sorry I didn't get more video, but much better product than that old Gibson. Nordine is horrible. We need to talk about that on the live stream. They're pitiful. I would love to get somebody to come on uh, my live show from Nordine. I really would. But anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.